scab traitor deserter. Tonight, CBS teachers who cross the picket line say they are being bullied. As you know, classes are canceled tomorrow for a ninth day, but we're finding teachers who are not walking the line. CBS 2's Tara Molina in the newsroom. Tara, besides wanting to teach, they say it's crippling them cash-wise. Right, Brad. Some just can't afford it anymore. I talked to a teacher too scared to go on camera who says they're a single parent living paycheck to paycheck, and they don't feel they have a choice at this point. Others believe in what the union is fighting for, but not the way they're fighting. It's an emotional experience to go through. If FOMA and ChemD on crossing the line. You have all your, like basically a majority of your colleagues that you work with that are screaming at you, calling you names, um, calling you scab when you know the kind of work that you do. Work she's been doing for 15 years, so she's been through this before. <laughs> and told us she knows what it's like to sacrifice, to lose, from her job within an arts department to her car and her home. I lost the car, it was um, repossessed, and I think the time, the next time it was an apartment. But her reason for leaving CTU last week and walking through a picket line to go back to her second grade classroom is just as much about what she's gained over the years. I commend everyone on this ability to see what is needed, but it's the how are we going to do this? And then in that, how we're going to do this, how are we teaching our children how to do this? And we should be careful of teaching them to go to war with one another. Does it really get done that way? CPS didn't respond to requests for a confirmed number of teachers who've crossed the picket line, but in Kemdi told us she's not alone. Others have made the same decision, but are afraid to speak out. She joins Joseph Okel. The kids are the ones losing. The kids are the ones who eventually will will suffer. Okel was expelled from the union for breaking a strike in 2016. And despite backlash in person and online, both tell us they're standing up for what they believe in by not standing in line. And children need to see all sides of how there's so many different strategies and ways of getting what you want in this world. It's not just one. Now, of course, I reached out to CTU about this. A spokesperson told me members never wanted to strike. The vast majority stands with the union, and there is no diminishing support on the picket lines. You can read that full statement in this story on our website right now. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Tara Molina, CBS2 News. Brad and Erica. Tara, thank you.